hello everyone i want to show you guys just a very simple tool that i use to remove image background um, this uh, technique is useful for a whole lot of things if you are doing website and you are trying to put some images on some several pages that have other information and you just want to make sure the image stand out uh, most time most images are taken with a JPEG uh, configuration and most times it would have image background so in order to do that you need some tool either you can go online or get a specialty tool or from pop from um, Photoshop or some other very high level image manipulating software to do that but I do not use all of those software I do a whole lot of things with publisher so I thought maybe somebody in the community would like to know how to use publisher to achieve that so there's a little uh, option that when you're working with image in publisher Microsoft publisher that would give you most of this um, uh, this particular option that I'm talking about but let me first of all show you exactly what I mean so I have this red background here and I want to make this couch right here in that background but as you can see as I put the couch over there and I want to say something about the catch and I want to guarantee people quality of service and stuff like that as you can see this kind of doesn't look very nice because the background is right there and it's not gonna look great for what you're trying to do so generally when you see some of the images online um, it looks like they're floating in the air it's just like how did they do that so it's pretty simple so Microsoft Publisher does have this option that you can actually take out this background and allow your image to stand out. So just to achieve that, I'm just going to use the image manipulation uh, option right here. Right now I have this image tool right here. So I would double click this and it will give me all these things that I can do with my image right now. But what I'm looking for is I want to go to recolor and I will click on set transparent color. When I click on that, this small little pen painting uh, brush here would come up and it's asking me which background color do I want to take out. I want to take this white out. So if I click on this right now, that background will go away it would just remove that white background and now I'm having my chair sitting on that uh, red uh, red canvas nicely I want to do the same thing for this uh, quality um, guaranteed option here I'll go to recolor set transparent color and I will click on the white colors and it takes away all of those whites and as you can see my image now stand out perfectly now one more thing you can do this particular image that you had before may have come from a JPEG but if you want to retain this image that you have removed the background so you can use in some place cells all what you have to do is to click on that and save save that uh, as a as a picture okay says that image as a picture uh, where you want to do that it will automatically tell you to save it as a, a png file because that's the only way that you can keep that uh, information that the background is transparent background right now so i'm going to save this up um somewhere uh, for now, I'm just going to do it on my desktop, okay? So I will save this on my desktop and um, 
I'm going to do the highest resolution is what I want. So it will save that image for me on my desktop. And I'll do the same thing here. I can save this image and use it to do other things later. So as you can see, that little small tool is very useful and it would help to speed up uh, image manipulation especially when you're trying to make your image stand out in this case so i hope this helped you uh have question text uh put your question uh, or make comment or ask uh, and share your own experience and we'll love to hear from it thank you for listening i hope this helps somebody bye